Uh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on Renegade Legend difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the last video, Emperor Nefarious decided to invade Rivet's home world of Sargasso. So me, Rivet and Kit decided to come back to Sargasso to defend the planet from Emperor Nefarious' invasion. It went very well, we defeated all of the Grand Troops and then we jumped onto Trudy, the Pterodactyl's back and we took down all of the spaceships and we defended the planet. Then out of nowhere, Emperor Nefarious decided to use his Dimensionator to show up behind us and send poor Rivet and Kit into a pocket dimension. We didn't have to do much in the pocket dimension. Rivet and uh, Kit escaped on their own. It was a little cutscene that played out. But we did find out that KT, aka Kit, was the war bot that destroyed Rivet's arm. And Kit did go to tell her, but Rivet interrupted. So Rivet doesn't actually know still that Kit was the one that destroyed her arm. So it was a very happy video and then became very depressing. But what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be switching over to Ratchet and Clank because they need to go to a pirate planet to find someone called Captain Quantum, who is a rebel that works with Rivet and the other guys, but the other guys have been killed, if I remember correctly, and we need to try and save them from uh, Emperor Nefarious's goons. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I don't think we're gonna get it done in this video, though, video though, because I think the pirate planet is a relatively long one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we're gonna be going to planet Ardolis. So, we've got two missions. Rescue Captain Quantum. Ratchet and Clank must find Captain Quantum before the Emperor does. And then we've got the optional mission, Treasure Hunt. The pirates are rumoured to be keeping a universal treasure map at the Black Star Landing Tavern. Yeah, this is going to be the planet where you get the gadget that I mentioned a few videos back, where it will reveal all of the spy bots, rare titanium and armor pieces on your mini map and gold bolts so you can find them very very easily but let's go things now. I fear the dimensional cataclysm is getting worse. Well, the sooner we find Pierre, the sooner we can get to fixing all of this. Somehow. We will find a way. Like always. Oh, what a tune! In unrelated, our door must be closed today for a private event. The execution. A Pierre Lafayette! All trespassers shall be shot and or stabbed on sight! And remember Article 4 of the Pirate Code! Never blow up your own human ship! Of course, our only lead to finding Captain Quantum is about to be executed. Perhaps someone else can tell us where he is. Okay, so Pierre, aka Rusty Pete, is about to be executed. He is the pirate that's been causing all sorts of shenanigans through this playthrough, in case you don't remember. But he's the one that can tell me where Captain Quantum is. <laughs> oh man, can't we just let, get, just let Pierre get executed? No one cares if Rusty Pete gets executed. He's a son of a bitch in this world. He's also a son of a bitch in the uh, previous games as well, because he's technically a baddie before he sort of becomes a goodie. Right, so, let's have a look on the map. Yep, looks like we're going to be doing a lot of swinging around and stuff. If I remember correctly, this little island here, I don't think you come to this island. Um, it's not part of the uh, main mission or the side mission. But I think if you get over here, like fly over here or whatever, I think the spy bot might be somewhere around here. And obviously you want to get the spy bot so you can get the rhino, the best weapon in the game. Okay. Are we full on ammo? Looks like we are. I need to quickly show you the uh, new weapon that we saw in the previous video. It looks like there's even another weapon as well now, so it looks like there's two new weapons we can preview. Feeling more precise than spray and pray? Get the headhunter for stellar shooting. Yeah, so this is a sniper rifle. So we uh, 
we didn't check out the preview of this weapon in the previous video, so we'll check out the previews of these two weapons. I don't know if you guys and girls care, but I always play them just in case you want to hear Zircon Jr. talk a load of rubbish for a couple of seconds. <laughs> Man, Zerko Jr. is insane, ain't he? So, um... I think... I'm not really a fan of the black hole gun. I'm just not really a fan of that. But I do like the headhunter. That sniper rifle. I'm, I've always been a fan of a sniper rifle. So, uh, we'll definitely get that at some point. But the black hole gun is a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Not really a fan of it. I would just one shot... To get more ammo, ain't it? Increase ammo picked up from crates by 20. Yeah, piss off. <laughs> Just need to find one more bit of rare titanium. I feel we're going to use the saw blades a lot and probably the uh, glove of doom. Oh no, not the shielded guys. And the worst. We're already nearly out of ammo for this weapon. It's insane, ain't it? Looks like they were spying on something with that telescope. Yeah, <laughs> still alive. I think we can take a shortcut through those caves to get to him. Hurry, Ratchet. Okay. Oh shit, where'd they come from? I wonder why I could see a bunch of pirates talking. <laughs> well, I couldn't see them talking, I could see the subtitles, obviously. <laughs> Man, I love these little robots. They was in the previous games as well. Let me just quickly get some ammo. Right, come on, you lot. The thing is, though, they can't jump over holes. Sometimes I think they teleport to you, but they don't always do it. I was flipping ammo right there. What a waste of bolts. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, no, they do jump over the holes. They don't always do it. Sometimes they just decide to stay behind for no reason. Guess it's a bit hit and miss if they actually follow you. Look at them, though. Ain't they adorable? <laughs> Oh man, I love them. What was that? that crap. Oh no. Once again, we have to make sure we keep our eyes open for some of those gold bolts. Hey buddy, when all this is over, Will you help me find the Lombaxes? Of course, Ratchet. Uh, you changed your mind? Maybe. I don't know. Before today, I thought the Dimensionator could only bring me trouble. But without it, we would have never met Rivet or Kit. I think that means something. <laughs> I love that. R Ratchet and Clank are having a little bit of a sentimental moment and then I get punched in the face by a crab and then my stupid uh, little glove of doom robots decide to start having a fight with a crab and blowing themselves up and then upgrading themselves right in the middle of a nice little moment. Flipping hell. Ruined. Completely ruined. <coughs> Happens every time in this bloody game. Yeah, you, you little turd. You and your buddies ruining that nice little moment. 
I do hope that one day in this game, uh, Ratchet finally does find the long boxes. Because so far, I mean, I mean he's found, he found Alistar in a cracking time. You know, that didn't end in the best way. And then I guess it's not exactly going to be too good between Ratchet and Rivet. Because Rivet is Ratchet's counterpart in another dimension. So I don't think they're both going to stay in the same dimension together. I don't even know if that would be possible. But, uh, well, I suppose we're both in the same dimension at the moment. So it should be possible, but who knows. But um, it would be nice if Ratchet did finally find the uh, Lombax race. It'd be very nice. Sort of like when you watch uh, Looney Tunes and you always see Wile E. Coyote trying to catch Roadrunner. It's just nice to finally see him catch Roadrunner. <laughs> so it would be nice if, uh, if they make like another trilogy on the PS5 and then they do finally find the race of Lombaxes and then maybe they just end Ratchet and Clank on that and then you don't get any more games. Or maybe you could have another trilogy in the future where maybe the Lombax race get attacked by someone and then they can make a new, another new trilogy, I suppose. I don't mind if they keep making Ratchet and Clank games. I love Ratchet and Clank. I do hope they bring back Sly Cooper. I'm not, so I'm not massively fussed about Jack and Daxter, but even then I wouldn't say no to a new Jack and Daxter. But uh, definitely want a new Sly Cooper. I never used to be a fan of Sly Cooper in the PS2 days because I didn't like the art style. But when I finally got convinced to play it on the... Uh, PS3, I played the HD remaster of the first three. Absolutely loved it. I don't know what was the matter with me in the PS2 days. And then I even played the PS3 one, uh, Thieves in Time. I loved that as well. Even though they, they ended that in a bit of a bad way, didn't they? Didn't like Sly Cooper get left in the desert or something in uh, Thieves in Time. See, so yeah, that didn't end in a good way either. <laughs> Poor Sly Cooper's been left in the desert for years. Poor guy. Can I shoot this? Oh, sweet. It is not an entirely fair trade. What if I give ye this bone and some head scratches? <laughs> ye drive a hard bargain. This bone, head scratches, and I will throw in me prized hat. But no more, so do not even think of asking. Okay. This bone, head scratches, me hat, and me ship. Just let me keep me booty. Tis all I have left. Fine, fine, you can have it all. Just get me out of here, pup, please. I am begging ye. Curse ye. <laughs> oh, lovely. I don't know why anybody would give the dog the keys. Because even though a dog is very well trained and probably wouldn't give the key to the prisoners, it's very easy to convince a dog to be on your side just with some food. <laughs> so it seems like a terrible idea. Oh, lovely. So what are executions like? Tis... All right, let's get some more of these bad boys in here. Jesus, where they all flipping come from? All hiding in the shadows. I know I've got plenty of weapons that I can use, but like I said, I'm just trying to level up my weapons to level 5. Because if you just keep using the same level 5 weapon and you don't let the other ones get upgraded as well, then when you run out of ammo, you're forced to use your bad weapons that are not level 5, and then you just end up in a really bad situation, especially on this difficulty. Oh, there might be a gold bolt round here, possibly. And this shotgun is pretty damn good when you've upgraded it a lot. The dimensional cataclysm is getting worse. Great! Oh, I brought the goons for, the goons here. The goons for hire. Oh, goons for less. Ow, who shot me? Oh, on the ground level. 
How are you still alive? Take your like five shotgun shells for the fights. Oh my. Oh, and that one's still alive as well. Yeah, of course it is. I like how they flex after they shoot you. Fucking bastards. Never that lucky. Flipping right, Rashi. It did feel like every single pirate on the planet. I think we're near Pierre now. Pierre, straight ahead. Oh, actually, I think you can come. Yeah. Oh, God. Why does everything want to kill me all the time? Oh, shit. I should have come down here. This was a terrible idea. Who is Sonic down here, actually? I think there might be a pocket dimension down here. Yeah, over there. And a bunch of bloody fishes. Jesus. That was very nicely handled, Ratchet. Thanks, Thank you, Clank. <laughs> I'm just having you along for stuff like this. Oh man, so satisfying watching all those little bolts fly into your pocket, ain't it? So satisfying. Yeah, over there actually is where you're gonna find the spire bite, if I remember correctly. Yeah, over there. I think you can get there probably from where Pierre is. I think you can like maybe fly over, or maybe you can use your um, your boots if you uh, give yourself a little bit of a run up. You can jump across possibly. That's how I got there, if I remember correctly. I don't know if you're supposed to do it like that, but it works. So screw it. Did these Versa targets all get sucked in from the same place, or did they come from different? Uh, ow, my brain's already hurting. <laughs> well, this looks like a lot of fun. Oh, what'd you go that way for? Rivet picked up the hell shot, but Ratchet has it somehow. <laughs> Just the same with the weapons, though, isn't it? Ratchet buys a weapon, Rivet has it. Rivet buys the weapon, Ratchet has it. But I do like that, though. I've already said that. I'd like that. I'm just glad it's not like The Last of Us Part 2. Well, look at that. <laughs> Sweet. We should be changing our armor, actually. Because there's a lot of pirates on this place. Where is it? Damage from Pyrus reduced. There we go. Make it green. Lovely. Should take a bit damage, less damage from the Pyrus now. I don't know if you have to equip it. I've said this many times because it says collection bonuses, all of them there. And I don't know if you just get all of those bonuses by owning the armor or if you have to wear the respective armor set. I've got no idea. So I just like to put on the right set just in case. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, what have I done? Right, let me just let me fall down. Maybe that will put me back at the beginning. Hopefully. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I thought I had to use that to get back over it. What are these gits doing here? Fuck off, you bastards! What are you doing here? Just killed you all. Everything just like respawned for no reason. There we go, it's probably back up here anyway, that's better. <laughs> oh! That's 
throw some of these down there. They can level up while they're down there. <laughs> Was there an octopus then? Damn now! That ship had to go boom on Molonoth! One could even say it destroyed itself! <laughs> <laughs> oh, bubbles! <laughs> if anyone wanted to save moi, now would be... <laughs> Intruders! You can't stop the swift arm of justice, you... <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, God. There's a lot of bad guys around here, isn't there? Oh. Now I'm getting really annoyed. I'm getting really annoyed in this video. Oh my god, I keep getting hit by just everything. What the flipping hell are I? Oh, so it's a little irritating. Oh. Is there someone behind the sh Yeah, look at him. What's he doing, the cheeky devil? What does he think he's playing at? Wait. Go away. Yeah, get off the edge. Captain Quantum, you must complete the pirate trials. What are those? A tradition as old as Gog, and how all pirates earn their colors. Head to Skull Mountain. If you complete the trials there, you will find the captain. Okay. Well, I think what we're going to do is we are going to get the gadget that will allow me to find all of the bolts and stuff on the minimap. We'll go and get that, I think. How do we do that? Yeah, we have to take a different route to do that. Which way is it? Yeah. I think we have to come across here. It's up to you. Yeah, we have to go. Oh. Aha, there we go. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Getting a little bit down confused then. I knew we had to go this way, but couldn't remember how to get over there. Oops. 
<laughs> oh my god. Now and then we should be out there. Look at this bloody place. Don't have no copyright music playing in here. I'll be flipping livid. Oh, they're not looking at me at the moment, I don't think. Oh, no, no, don't run in there. What are you doing? <laughs> flipping Leroy Jenkins over there. What's he playing at? I was hoping to get a few more of those uh, Glass of Doom before I started fighting. Oh, there's some over there. You gotta fucking hate how you dodge and then they instantly attack you. That pisses me off. missing anything. I think we have to uh, use that lift. I know we can come out here. I think there's just like a bunch of crates right over. Yes. Looks like there's a... Um... Oh, I thought there was a little rift thing down there. It's just a ring of fire. Oh, be careful, Ratchet. What are you doing? Crazy man. I think I think pretty sure we can go up here. Yeah. I pity those on him. You're too how do they get past them? Protect the booty! I love this gun. Now that booty chest is all ours. I look at the marks on the floor. I think when you use your wrench, it leaves a nice mark on the floor as well. Yeah, look at that. I think it actually sticks around for a while. It's annoying when you play like the older games and then you do like you shoot the floor and it will leave a bullet hole and then you watch it like fade before your eyes and stuff like that. Sweet. Very nice. So if you come onto your mini map now. There you go. See, everything's on the map. As you can see, you've got the spy bot over there, like I mentioned. There's a golden bolt over here that you can get whilst you head towards the pirate trials. There's one actually inside the pirate trials. And uh, the final piece of armor, I think might also, yeah, also in the pirate trials. So yeah. We have to go and grab, probably in the next video, I'll go and grab that spy bot. I think you can jump there from Pierre. I think we can teleport back, can't we? Yeah. I think Ratchet just said that. I think I might have interrupted him. But yeah, we'll go and grab that spy bot in the next video. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfworbets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully the commentary was okay in this video and the previous video. It's just been another one of those days where I've been very distracted. And you know those days where you're just really distracted. There's a lot of stuff going on in your head. You're thinking about a million different things. It's very hard to commentate and focus on a video game when you've got like 20 different things going around in your mind. It's not good. And especially when you're trying to do a YouTube video. So hopefully the commentary was okay. 
If not, feel free to tell me. Like, be off, you slacked, you son of a bitch. Stop thinking about bullshit and get your head in the game. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Morbets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video anyway. Like, share, and join the pack today.